Treethan is here. Treethan, where are you calling from? Hey, I'm calling from Jersey City, New Jersey. Jersey City, New Jersey. What do you want to talk about on the show? So my take is in and out sucks. Um, oh my god! All right, sorry, <laughs> Treethan. Kidding. Thanks for the call. We'll have to catch you next time. <laughs> Uh, all right, so my uh, actual uh, this take guy is... lives in Jersey City, New Jersey, and is suddenly I, thinking he's I a critic. Work, I, I lived in Los Angeles for three months, and I did work in Los Angeles. In and Out is not good and very overrated. Oh but my god! We will have god. this conversation another time. What is I? This I've never been more disappointed in this show than the call uh, than, than tonight. The callers, the I'm guests, just, the I'm co-hosts. just stating facts. He's I am stating, stating facts. I am, I am stating facts. I apologize, but this is just truth. Oh anyway, my God. here is my take. I think the Bjergsen versus TSM game narratives will be a really boring narrative if the broadcast pushes it this season, as I do not think TSM in its current form can ever take a game off of Team Liquid. And, okay, can you explain by current form? Do you mean the, these five players, or do you think like... Wait, wait, you've never seen us play, though. Well, that's why this is called Hotline <laughs> League, Speaker. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. Okay. What? It, well, okay. So again, back to my question. Uh, it's the current five players on the roster that are playing this weekend. I do yes, not okay. think that they so will be able to Okay. So you don't think this line of five of the players game. can ever take a single game, even in a best of five, off of TL? I'm gonna go with no. Okay. <laughs> so your final answer. Uh, <laughs> that, that is that is my final answer. <laughs> locked in just as much as the in and out answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, why do you? Uh, first off, well, you've. Well, but I'm, I'm, I'm doubting you because your first take was so bad. Um, <laughs> se- secondly, uh, what is it before before we unleash speak and, and, and Mark? Mm-hmm. What is it about the the five versus five that makes you feel like it can't happen? So I think Bjergsen really showed during lock in that he still has a ton of tricks up his sleeve and he's been playing really well. On top of that, Whippo's going to completely top gap Huni every single game. And Santorin to me has always been one of the best junglers in the LCS. For Was a he while, the MVP so... last year? No, I think that you know maybe he, he should have been. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I do think that across the board, Team Liquid has a better roster, including Why? including if Ayla plays support. Anyway, I do think it's still better. Why yeah, would you, you say Pueblo is better you... than Hoodie? I think the current top meta right now in terms of aggression, Whippo just... What's the top meta? There's no top meta. There's no, like, aggression in the top meta right now. It's just, like, the game plank and uh, everything with the barrels. <laughs> but nobody plays game plank. <laughs> Whippo played game plank in the finals, uh, did you yeah. see? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Did you say I you were see, chilling honestly, or something? <laughs> honestly, I didn't really watch the finals, so... I just yeah. saw Whippo <laughs> smurfing on fake up, but... I think Huni might be a little better. Clearly, Spika was accusing this guy of not having seen his team play. Spika hasn't even seen TL play. So we've got yeah, two people arguing in the other team. I just oh, watched Soren fucking, he doesn't even use the quickie badges going forwards. I was like, okay, fuck this shit. I'm not watching anymore. <laughs> um, Spika, first question. Do you feel like it's a forced narrative if we talk about Bjergsen and you guys? Like, are you going after Bjergsen? Are you going to treat it just like any other game? There's not any extra jungle attention or four-man roams mid? Yeah, I mean, I don't think... I mean, it's definitely going to be narrative, but I don't think it's going to be bad. Like, that's, like, definitely the biggest talking point of the offseason, right? Like, uh, Bjerg leaving TSM. Um, I definitely think if you overuse it too much, it's a bit forced, um, and it's going to be a bit boring. Um, but I think that's something that's something that should be talked about. I mean, back to, back to Mark's point though, Mm -hmm. like, will you treat your games against TL as if it's any team or are you going to go in like extra excited, extra nervous? I don't know. The other day, the Bjergsen did an minute. interview where he just uh-huh. randomly at the end of it said, I'm going to kill Biofrost. Yeah. Um, so, like, I, I, clearly he had his, his mm. something on his mind when he was facing Dignitas, yeah. his old teammate. So, honestly, I think I will play better because I really want to be him. Um, so, that will probably increase our chance of winning. I wouldn't play any other different. Okay. Um, I think. I just don't know. I'm curious if, if mid lane is going to get extra attention from the. It will, be a party. it will be a party. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to trigger him. <laughs> Do you, are you able to disclose how you trigger him? 
No, no, no. This is pretty secret. Okay. Is, yes, is this a, another one of these like Ligma balls things like you got him with? Uh, no, no, no. no. I know. I, I know his like you know habits and stuff. I know what triggers him. So. Are you? Do you guys? Is we'll this see. a type and chat game? Like, is, are we gonna be sad? Like, are, are you guys gonna be typing to each other? I mean, they're, we are, you know, I like our team actually chats a lot, but like they're, I think they're kind of like a serious team. They don't like to have fun, so maybe they won't respond. But you know, I'll try my best. See if he uh, types something back. Uh I wish, I wish, because now we don't have. Uh, Probably fucking, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now I don't know. I wish that uh, Riot had the ability to. To sneak those little messages onto the chat or onto yeah. the broadcast or something, because I feel like that would be good. Spectator slots, hopefully. Um, on on to the the other point. I gotta ask Trethan. You said that Ayla's better than than Shenyi. Have you watched either Shenyi or Kaido? Uh, no, but I play? do think it's gonna take some time for for adjustment. <laughs> but also on top of that, I think the entire season just. Because I, I don't know if you remember my take a while ago when I said I thought TSM was going to be at the bottom of the standings. Cause... I, I did not remember that take, but... But you were wrong, right? We were first, I believe. Well, this, this was this was like a few weeks ago or something. I said, like, this current season, you guys would oh, be at the bottom I see, of the standings. I see. So you're a hater. You're a little rat. <laughs> you... <laughs> I take offense to that, but yeah, sure. <laughs> but but speak of riddle me this. Have yeah. you won a game yet this year? Actually, you know, I'm actually undefeated, though, if you think about it. That, that, that is actually true. I've that never true. lost a game. Kuni has never lost. We have never lost a single lane. No one's ever taken a tower or nexus, so I think we're going on a good start. Yeah. Your games are very boring, though, because nobody on the... Or you guys also never take anything, so it's just uh, very uneventful. It's 0-0 zero, zero every game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I don't know if there's anything else we can the, milk out of this. The call. only thing I'm gonna say, is, Trethan, you said that the, the TSM can never take a game off TSM, or excuse me, so, yeah, TSM, TSM can never take a game off TL. But Dignitas took a game off TL. Are you saying that TSM is so much worse than Dignitas they can't take a game? Yeah, I think Rivers better than Speak of. <laughs> oh. Holy fuck, dude! <laughs> what? It's a good what? show. A show. <laughs> I'm just saying, first name scripts. I thought he was really bad, so I was I was really surprised why Dig uh, beat them. Look, all right, <laughs> Travis, I'll do this for you. I hate uh -huh. energy drinks. If TSM takes a game off of Team Liquid, I will uh -huh. buy an entire case of Mountain Dew Game Fuel. Fantastic, well, no. thank you. It meets <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, he should send some Game Fuel to Speaker yeah, as, a, uh, as a payment. Yeah. Or yeah, I'll I'll coordinate with Travis chest. over that. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Text, text, All right. text, text chest. You can we can All find right. out how much those cost. Same. You can try to retail value it or something. Um <laughs> uh okay. Well well here, actually there was one thing on there I just realized that you mentioned. You thought that Lockin had shown that Bjerg was playing really well. But I thought that the general consensus was that Bjerg had not been playing very well until maybe yesterday's match. Uh, so I want to kind of uh, vet that against Mark. Like, Mark, what if, uh, part of it, I, I mean, I did an interview with Bjergsen. He even thought he wasn't playing well in the beginning because he had COVID. Uh, but, I mean, Mark, what have you thought of Bjergsen's performance? We can use this as kind of like a check-in point on. on uh, I felt like he was playing, like, a more supportive style. Before that series, he only had one LeBlanc game, and then the rest was Victor, Corky, Ori, and Zillion. And so I didn't feel like he was, like... Uh, like, he was, I think, trying to fit in with the team. I, I don't exactly know, but it didn't look that impressive. But at the same time, the mid pool actually looked kind of open. Like, Abba was having bad games. Um, you know, half the mid laners aren't even in the league yet. Like, Fudge Blue just looked good, out. I thought. Jo People Blue, were, Blue, were popping up Blue and JoJo. Blue looked really good, and JoJo looked really good. But remember, we, had a, we were talking last week, and we were like, who the fuck, if you were going to give me top three mids right now, who is oh, it? Yeah. It's JoJo, Bjerg, and then probably Blue is what we were saying, you know? And it's like, yeah. on, on the one hand, I don't think Bjerg's playing at his highest potential, but I think relative to what we saw in Lock and he was still playing well. All right, fair enough. Uh, thank you so much, Trethan, for the call. Anything you no want problem. to shout out before we go on to our next caller? Yeah, like a more general note, uh, as a jungler main, I legitimately think the LCS is probably one of the best regions for jungler right now. And Spika, you're definitely still part of that. I know this call was 
probably hectic, but I legitimately think the LCS is probably one of the best regions for jungling, and it's really fun to watch every single person play jungle so far. So definitely will be an exciting weekend to see everyone actually start playing. You were Have just hyping one, up Santorin over Spica a second ago. I was, but I still legitimately still think that, you know, Spica isn't bad. He's <laughs> he's literally the LCS, right? <laughs> so I, I still think that, you know, Spica's better than most LEC junglers right now. So I just think the level of play for junglers is really high in the LCS, and that's a legitimate thing, I think. Gotcha. So, cool. Have a good one, guys. Thank you, Treatham.